So when you're in the woods or thrust into a survival situation, you want kit that's gonna be durable and effective and you're gonna want it to be as lightweight as possible and user friendly as possible. And there's a piece of kit that I used on a recent outing with Wired Tight that thoroughly impressed me on a wet, rainy overnight in a thunderstorm under an A-frame tarp. We're gonna take a look at that. Getting the camp set up, wired tight. Missouri Survival. Right, so we're chilling in the. Uh, I'm staying dry. Yeah, wired tight back there, staying dry in this poncho shelter. I got the got the tarp going on here. The old seven dollar six by eight Wally World Special, and uh, we are getting rain. So I've done a full video on, you know, what are you gonna sleep in as far as a, uh, a, a shit hit the fan or a patrol situation or whatever. And this didn't get as much attention as it deserved. So as you can see from the footage, me and Wired Tight had a, uh, a rainy camp out situation and we're under that, uh, that A-frame. This thing is 10 times the piece of kit I thought it was before I got it out in a rainstorm. As far as just usability, this bivy alone, without the insulation layer, kept me probably 80% dry. I mean, I, I'm a bigger guy, so I didn't have it completely zipped all the way up. I could have scrunched down into it, but I just used my uh, Nozumi chest rig as a pillow with a hunting orange hoodie, you know, for a little bit of cushion, but uh, this, I had, I was full, full body, had the pants on, everything, had boots on in it, went to bed fully dressed in this thing. And I'm a large dude, so it was a little bit rough getting in it, but it, you know, for people that aren't my size, uh, this ought to be wonderful as far as just a piece of kit. The ability to keep me dry was super impressive, and we're talking some torrential downpours during the middle of the night. It, it really did the trick. So if, if a guy, if you wanted a a minimalist sleep kit. This bivy, you can't go wrong with it. This is the Tinier Industries. This is the surplus version. You've got the the snaps on the side over your uh, your zipper, and it snaps together with the insulation layer in the back. But if you just bought this itself and decided to just dress appropriately, take a poncho so that if you kind of felt moisture starting to come down, you could put the poncho on, keep yourself dry, or even had a set of like thermals to change out into. This, as long as, long as you're dressed appropriately with this in inclement weather, you're gonna be able to stay dry in 90% of cases without having to pack an entire sleep kit or a huge insulation layer. This would pack down even into like a, uh, forget the name of it at the moment, but like the, uh, it's sort of like the belt pack from like the G-Watt era. This just got one big zipper and it's a big, you could roll this up into there and still have room for other stuff. That's how compactable this thing is. And uh, as far as just comparing this alone, packed down with let's say just the full sleep system, I mean, it's not even a third the size of the actual full setup. So this, some decent clothes, and you're gonna be good to go, at least in my area, I'm in, I'm in Southwest Missouri, there would be some months of the year where you would really want to have a good insulation layer as far as like a, a, a down jacket or a good hoodie and probably a fire if you can manage it. But in every other season, this with just appropriate dress, a change of socks or even an actual change of clothes in case you did get wet by mistake, this will do the trick. And at 70 bucks, that's, that's about the price going for the new ones and, and sometimes you can get these for 40 bucks on Amazon but this is probably the most important piece of kit that you haven't thought about putting in a patrol pack excellent stuff I can't recommend it enough so go check out a 10 year industries bivy or the the USGI Gore-Tex bivy that's what this is Gore-Tex material you can't go wrong with it 
So go check them out. You will be glad you did, especially on a rough overnight in a rainstorm. Yeah.